Welcome again to the Coach Godwin Show. I'm your coach, Karan Godwin, all-time leading scorer of the University of North Florida. Also author of a great new book, Everyone Hates a Ball Hog, But They All Love a Scorer. Um, the complete guide to scoring points on and off the basketball court. Um, all brought to you by jumpstarthoops.com. Um, one of the things I want to get into today is um, the mid-range game. And as you all know, this is one of those lost arts. Um, it always perplexes me because when you look at Michael Jordan, who uh, most people would agree is the best basketball player to ever live, you will find that um, he mastered the mid-range game. You know, it, it uh, always seems to come in the latter part of your career, you know, when you're young and athletic, like a Michael or a Kobe or, or most basketball players coming to the league, you know, you, it's either a three-point shot or a dunk. I mean, that's just just maturity um, when you come into the league and you're athletic. I mean, you just want to get to the hole. You want to get big buckets, you know, those big-time endorsements and, um, and, you know, put on a show for the crowd. But as you become more seasoned in the game of basketball, you know, you get to the point where it's really all about winning and making your teammates better so that you can win. Um, this 8 to 15 foot area on the basketball court, uh, what we call the mid mid-range game, becomes more and more important. Uh, when you look at guys like Sam Cassell, who um, I absolutely love because um, I mean, you look at him, he's a a older guy and he's able to play the point guard position which is very very hard to begin with and he's able to play it um, as his um, athleticism was dwindling um, he mastered the mid-range game you know at any point in time you know Sam Cassell can turn it on and uh, give you that 15 to 25 points that you needed to win that game and um, you know guys sit back and say how is this guy doing it you know 36 37 38 playing against you know teenagers and guys that are 22 years old, more athletic than them come out of college, it's because he mastered the mid-range game and he knew the importance of it. Um, Sam Cassell used a move that I absolutely love, and this is my favorite mid mid-range move. Um, if you go to my website and check it out, the step-back move. It's a move that I detailed in my uh, Fundamentals of Scoring DVD, and it's a move that, that you have to master uh, for that mid-range game. And um, it involves you dribbling the ball, you know, going towards the basket and be able to, to push off just a little bit lightly, not enough to get a foul, and step back into your jump shot and knock down the shot. Um, you know, like I said, and if you can knock down that 15-foot j- shot, then it's just a matter of positioning and you getting yourself open and uh, getting your shot off. And that's what guys like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant now um, have found. I mean, Kobe Bryant is absolutely unstoppable. Why? Because a lot of times he gets the ball, he's already in that mid-range area. He's either posting you up or running that triangle offense um, from Coach Phil Jackson. And um, he gets the ball, he's already in that 15-foot range. So all he has to do is get a shot off. And the closer he is, like say he's uh, 6 feet from the basket or 8 feet, then uh, he can always fade away and knock a a jump shot down. And um, you know just the mastery of that area. I look at another guy, Carl Malone. I mean, just coming down the stretch of of his career, I mean, he was still averaging, you know, 20 to 25 points a game. Even as he was getting older, you know, he can put it on and turn it on any night. I mean, he had a great point guard, of course, John Stockton. Uh, You you can't take that away. But um, Carl Malone's mastery of the mid-range game, I mean, he would post you up on the block. The ball would come. He would take one step out, you know, which would put him, you know, eight feet from the basket, turn around, pump fake you, shoot right over the top. If you were overzealous as a defender, he would go ahead and go past you and uh, draw a foul or, or dunk the basketball. But um, just his mastery of the game um, just stood out to me because uh, I've always been enthralled and, and always um, like seeing players that don't have the athleticism or seeing those seasoned vets and how they get it done because they are so, so efficient. And that's what the mid-range game is all about. So you young players out there and, and coaches that are coaching these young players, you got to let them know that, that um, everything's not about the ESPN highlights. And, you know, ESPN, you're going to see either the three-point shot, you know, a great move to the basket for a dunk, or, or maybe, you know, sometime a, a drive draw and, and dish, you know, for a dunk. But mostly, I mean, it's either the three-point shot or the dunk. And, I, and I'm here to tell you, folks, I mean, the game is much more than that, you know. That never neglect that that mid range game. 
I know um, coming in college, you know, I, after I, I got uh, pushed around a, a little bit, you know, coming in college as a freshman, you're not as big and you, your body's just developing and you got these older guys that may be four years older than you, but you're competing for spots. And sometimes, you know, you get pushed around, going to the hole or trying to get rebounds. It's, it's tough. You know, I know I was in the MAC conference. I'm playing for the University of Buffalo at that time before I transferred to the University of North Florida. And um, it, it was tough down there. And one of the things that, that I had to do was figure out ways to score because uh, in high school, what used to be a crossover and dunk, in college, you know, it was a crossover and, and ended up me being on the ground and them going down the court, you know, because they really don't call foul in practice. So it forced me to become more efficient and say, okay, you know, instead of completely going past the guy and trying to dunk every time, I'm going to go ahead and, and get past him, get him out of position, and then pull up for this jump shot. And uh, it took my game to the next level. And when I transferred down to the University of North Florida, I mean, I already had that mindset. I mean, it was, it was I remember uh, my second game playing, I had 32 points. You know, it was just one of those things where, where I understood the value of the mid-range game. It also is uh, good, for, good for your longevity. And, and that's what the, the guys in the um, NBA found out very, very quickly. It's a marathon, folks. It is not a race, not at all. I mean, at the end of the day, your stat sheet is going to say whatever it says. If it's 25 points, it says 25 points. You know, me reading your stat sheet, I'm not going to know how you got that 25. I'm just going to see your shoot percentage and uh, how many points you ended up with, and um, I'm going to judge your game based off of that, especially when we talk about Hall of Fame and, and you know, comparing stats. I mean, that, that, that's what you look at. How great was this player? How efficient was this player compared to who they played against in, in, in history and time? So um, the mid-range game is something that I – I always respect. I encourage everyone to go out there and, and get the moves in your arsenal. Um, of course, my fundamentals of scoring DVD uh, I have great moves, step backs, crossovers. I uh, have something what I call my NBA step. Um, it's also on YouTube, too. You can um, um, Google that or search that. It's a move where you're actually in a triple threat position, and um, you're looking for the person's lead foot to attack. And you know, Once you find that lead foot, you explode past them, getting them out of position, only to pull up right there in their face. And it's a move that um, I used, and it was a great move for me because a lot of times you have these athletic guys that, that pride themselves on defense, and you have to know how to get your shot off. But um, when I was in that mid-range game, I mean, that's an easy shot uh, for me as it is for a lot of you out there. You know, the 15-foot being that foul line area, and um, going below that, you know, 8 to 15 foot, you should be able to knock down that shot. So um, that's it for today's show. Uh, make sure you're out there practicing hard on your mid-range game. Uh, don't just go to the park and launch threes and get into the gym. That's all you want to shoot is threes. Make sure you're around that foul line area. Make sure you catch the ball at the three-point line. You're taking two dribbles to the foul line, pull up jump shot. You know, make sure you're working on your step back. Uh, make sure you're working on your crossover and pull up, all right? So... Until next time, work on that pull-up jump shot, all right? Don't let the mid-range game continue to be a lost art. Go ahead and master that. Put it a part of your, your arsenal and take your game to the next level. Until next time, God first, God speed. Log on to the site, jumpstarthoops.com. Make sure you hear the rest of the podcast, get caught up, and um, good luck out there. See you later.